Budding can be a rapid form of reproduction. Two days after feeding, this individual has produced two buds. Twenty-four hours later, the buds have developed tentacles. They are rapidly becoming small replicas derived from their parents' tissue. Two days later, the new individuals have broken free and looped to new feeding stations beyond the sweep of their parents' feeding tentacles. In two weeks, the hydra population has exploded. Budding is an asexual form of reproduction, but some of our lab-reared hydras have also developed sexual swellings on their bodies, testes. This new tissue is swarming with motile cells, spermatozoa. The thin-walled tips rupture, releasing sperm that swim away, attracted to females with eggs. As time went on, many of our hydras became somewhat oversexed, producing up to a dozen testes. Evidently, the hydras we started with were all males, so there are no females in this population. Green hydras have both sexes on the same individual. The whitish lumps are testes, and further down the body, an ovary is producing a single large overwintering egg from which will hatch a new hydra. <laughs>